Scottish witches in line for apology hundreds of years after being burned at the stake. Here's a summary of the article. Thousands of Scottish witches executed for their supposed crimes might soon get formal apologies and pardons. Nearly 4,000 Scots were convicted of witchcraft between 1563 and 1736 when it was against the law to be a witch, The Guardian reports. In that time there were five major witch hunts, women forced to confess under torture before being strangled and burned at the stake. A member's bill in the Scottish Parliament to pardon the country's convicted witches has won the support of the ruling First Minister Nicola Sturgeon's administration, the Sunday Times reported. Per capita, during the period between the 16th and 18th century, we executed five times as many people as elsewhere in Europe, the vast majority of them women, witches of Scotland campaigner Claire Mitchell told the paper. To put that into perspective, in Salem 300 people were accused and 19 people were executed. We absolutely excelled at finding women to burn in Scotland. Those executed weren't guilty, so they should be acquitted. Salem's so-called witches were pardoned in 2001. This post received a score of 14,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This is just another test to see if they're a witch. If they respond, they're a witch. If they don't respond, they might be a clever witch. If they are still in line for an apology hundreds of years after being burned at the stake, they are definitely a witch. Could be warlocks. Imagine for a second being in Scotland, being Scottish, seeing a headline about Scotland near the top of world news so you click on it. Sorry, this content is not available in your region. Well, fuck me then. Can't view it down here in Bristol either. Must be a UK thing. Happens regularly with articles posted here. I have to use VPN. This particular site blocks everything from the EU as well. Probably too lazy or sketchy to comply with GDOR or the new equivalent in post Brexit UK law. Clicking the article from Scotland. Sorry, this content is not available in your region. I dislike the word pardon used in these contexts. It implies a crime was committed. It should be apology and reversal of verdict. Yeah, they should have let a lawyer proof the verbiage. ETA not necessarily BC of it being a legal matter because it's purely symbolic, but because lawyers are masters of using words extremely carefully with great attention to connotation and denotation, and with mastery of a lexicon that's perfect for describing anything legal, even symbolically so, with absolutely zero ambiguity. Receives a 400-year-old letter from Agnes Nutter that just says, Apology accepted. She would be more about gunpowder and nails. Well that almost makes up for a tortious execution, almost. When you die you don't actually experience pain or the death part but are whisked away to the next life like in Star Trek Q Encounters. It's replaced with a holographic meat puppet that burns. It laughs madly because it does not live or feel pain. Puts down bong. I know you are joking but I've had several first degree and a couple of second degree burns. Those were so painful. Being slowly burned to death is about the worst thing I can imagine with the exception of a slow torture without an end in sight. Me too. I was in so much pain an hour after I fell on a live burner that I couldn't bear it. I tried all the pharmacy, BTW interesting crowd at the pharmacy at 2 a.m., ointments. This was just a regular burn not the kind you call emergency. What I finally did was get super stoned and told myself, I was okay and the danger is over and there is no need to project more pain and it went away. Weird, huh? Haven't tried it twice and I hope I never need to. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.